Just for the record, we are at an altitude of 1080 meters and the view is spectacular. One nice thing about hotels is you can get breakfast, someone makes it for you and you can have a shower and, and so on. One nice thing about not staying in a hotel is you don't have to carry all this luggage around. I really hope I will be able to stay in a tent this night. I'm getting closer to the tall mountains here, Glittert and Galdopigan the tallest mountains in, in Scandinavia. Uh, so the idea would be to pitch my tent there to get ready and then I can uh, go around and discover the surroundings more. First a little start here, maybe get some more fuel and uh, yeah, ready for the day. Just look at this landscape. road is starting to climb. We are going to get over the mountain. Hmm. That word means hell in Swedish. I don't know what it is in Norwegian. Well, in just a few hundred meters we are going to hell. Let's see what that means. <laughs> okay, this is Helvete. Well, it's possible to stop here, so why don't we? Naturpark. Okay. Jättegrit med potholes. Okay, so... Geological point of interest. I don't think I have time for that. Now this feels a bit uncommon. Horses wandering around on the road. I already get some small droplets of, of water on my helmet. Not again make the same bad decision as I made yesterday and just go on despite the rain. If it looks really bad this could even be a place to pitch my tent. This is where we are. No heavy rain right now. Oh boom! So yeah, so I seem to have still a couple of hours, but then I have to act quickly because between 4 and 5 p.m. this whole part of Norway is going to be drenched again. I should be fairly safe to lunch and then uh, not go any further, essentially. There are some yellow glowing digits over there characteristic of a gas station. Let's fill him up. So it is a bit challenging to go anywhere today without becoming wet because the, there is uh, water constantly hanging in the air. Anyway it's not raining exactly right now and uh, now I plan to go back to the Trans-Euro Trail from here up to Randwerk. Probably not all the way because I will be uh, looking for places where I could pitch my tent. Preferably near water somewhere. Yeah, let's see what we find. Oh, I just entered a nice little uh, gravel road. Part of the Trans-Euro Trail. 
supposed to be a toll road, so that should be yes. But here, uh, the set on a sign. I would be able to use the credit card here. Okay, so that's convenient. Approved. Okay. road looks really nice I get value for my 70 Norwegian Kroner bit more light at the horizon but uh, remember that rain radar sunshine today is going to be temporary and really enjoying this little road reindeers sky is clear in front of me I guess I have another hour or so before I really have to pitch my tent I can go on a little bit further and enjoy the unexpected sunlight there was a sign saying something about uh, kayaking and rafting I I guess this would be a really nice spot to try. So just next to a bridge on the main road I found this nice little tractor road that uh, follows the, the water upstream. This could very well be a good spot for a lunch or even a place where I can pitch my tent and spend the night. Lunch and dinner today is an uh, Indian dish from a glass jar with some additional beans. And now I can't remember how many minutes this rice is supposed to be boiled, but uh, say five. And I'm going to use myself as a timer. Here's a short section of the Trans Euro Trail just nearby. It goes up on higher altitudes and I really want to see it. And I think the weather is nice enough, so I'm going to take a chance on the weather and uh, go see that now. around us. So this is the committee that is here to welcome me to the road to Glitterheim. Uh, it's supposed to be a toll road, a private toll road, but no information about that here. So I guess it's further ahead. Forty kroner, that's pretty cheap. And it is possible to use coins, and I will use that because I was prepared to actually have coins here. I thought that's what was expected. <laughs> if the machine wants to have them. Barrier open! It is. 
take tickets. Okay, good. Thank you. Finally here. This uh, this section I've been planning for uh, can it be a month and a half or something. As I was looking at this area, Jotunheimen, the home of the giants, I think that means. Um, and I was thinking, okay, I want to see the mountain tops, of course, and I want to find some really nice roads around. And then I looked at Trans Euro Trail Norway. So I found this little road. So up there we can see quite a distinct limit where the trees don't grow anymore. And we are going all the way up there and further. It's getting quite steep. This is the limit for trees. But they say, okay, I give up. The air is too thin and the winds are too tough for me. I can't grow here. Just for the record, we are at an altitude of 1080 meters and the view is spectacular. I'm going to stop over here and take it all in. Wow! Just look at it. Look at the mountains, look at the trees, look at the clouds, all the water. The shadows that the clouds cast on the mountains. This is an epic spot.